Okay, we're gonna be preaching at the Blue Cross Arena tonight, Saturday night, 12-29-2018. Nighthawks lacrosse opening game. Should be a lot of people here tonight. It is appointed unto men. Wants to die, but after this comes the judgment. And I hope you folks tonight are going to start seeking God Almighty. His name is Jesus Christ because He's the only one that can provide salvation that you need. And that's you do need that today. You need that more than anything else you need in your life. You need salvation. You need to be saved. You need to be born again. Because you were created in the image of God, and when sin entered into the world, that image was lost. The image of God was lost, and you need to be brought back into that image. You're going to be accountable to God Almighty. You're going to be accountable to Jesus Christ someday. God bless you. God bless you. No, it's okay. We will, Just like you came here to go to the lacrosse game, we came here to preach. Okay? We don't have to go home. In fact, if we have to go home, you go home. Okay, what's the point of that? You see what I'm saying, folks? A lot of you are ignorant of the freedoms that we have in this country, but we come once again preaching to you and warning you of the judgment to come. You need salvation of Jesus Christ more than you need anything else in your life today. You need Jesus Christ more than you need anything else in your life because one day you're going to stand before the living God, Jesus Christ. You're going to stand before the living God and you're going to and he's going to open the books and another book was opened which is the book of life. And those who were not found written in God's book of life were cast into a lake of fire. It is appointed unto men once to die but after this comes the judgment. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near more than ever tonight you need the salvation of jesus christ because you're dead in trespasses and sins and you have violated the laws of god in your flesh and you must be born again to see the kingdom of god and when we say that i'm not saying that all men aren't saved or all men are having repented of their sin but i know from the word of god that a majority of you have not and, and the Word of God says that straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth to life and few be that find it. And once again, I believe God. If He says few are going to find it, then I believe God. And why are few going to find it? Because only a few are interested in the things of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. There is none that seeketh after God. They have all become unprofitable. That's what God says in His Word about mankind. They're all degenerate and need to be saved because of sin that entered into the world. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God is not willing that any perish. That's not His will. So if you perish in your sin, it's because that's the choice you made while you were alive. All men that go to hell, all the human race that go to hell is going to be their choice because God has given and put out His gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection through preachers, through the revelation of God, through... Uh, through the heavens. The heavens declare the glory of God, the Word of God says. Preachers declare the glory of God. And one day you're going to have to give an account to Jesus the Christ. And here's our friend that still is lost. I'm not lost. There is no God. See, it's there's our friend that how many years now have you been rejecting Jesus? Of my whole life. Okay, well, we're still praying for you. Okay, and and uh, we have. Wait, you don't believe in God? Wait a minute. 
You don't believe in God, so what are you worried about judgment? There is no judgment if there is no God. Yeah. I mean, think about that ignorance right there. Okay, now I don't believe God. There is no God. You're judging me. Where do you think judgment comes from? It comes from the Word of God. So you do believe in God, but you've been deceived and blinded by the God of this world. That's right. That man we have been praying for, and he has been for years scoffing at the gospel, and we're still out here preaching because God is still merciful to all of you tonight. God is merciful to all of those. You know what? I hope someday we might have a testimony from that man that he, he seen that there is a God. I hope, I hope that he doesn't have to go to the judgment of God before he realizes that, but God is still merciful. God is long-suffering. The end of the Lord is salvation. He's not willing that any perish. He doesn't want any of you to perish. If you perish, it'll be because you chose to perish. But God's not willing that you perish. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's the gift of God, that He died for your sins. He shed His own blood for you. I can see it on a person's face. God says to show their confidence, thus witness against them. They declare their sin of Sodom. They hide it not. Woe to their soul, they have rewarded evil of themselves. So even the show of your confidence, God shows us your expression on your face. God sees it, folks. God sees all things. The eyes of the Lord are in the people of the good. It's something. All the work for entertainment is going to be done. The party's going to be over. Never stand before Never. God, mockers, and cast you into hell. That's right, sir. Never. The mock God is going to cast you into hell. It's no joke. I can't wait so to get up. Up. Hell waits for those that reject God. You think you can mock God? And you stand before God, it says the law was given that every mouth might be stopped. All the world might become guilty before God. And you're all guilty, folks. You need to repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you all will likewise perish. Not only does the expression of the countenance of your face witness against you, the words of your mouth, as Jesus said, of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When, mouth, when your mouth speaks blasphemous, Profane words, it's your heart is wicked, folks. God saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth. Every imagination and the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. God says the earth in that day was corrupt before God and filled with violence. And it's in the days of Noah, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. It says that if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, He committed them to chains of darkness. He spared not the old world, but He saved Noah, a preacher of righteousness. He brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly. And He turned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example to us today. Those who after should live ungodly. You know, they marched down almost every single major city in America, and it's all over the world. As Jesus said, as it was in the days of Lot, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. So Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, destroyed them all. That's what's going on today. Sodomy is like the law of the land, but God's yeah. law is they won't enter into heaven. God says he'll turn the wicked into hell and all the nations that forget God. Yeah, Obviously, this nation forgot God like the man there that mocks God when he goes by. Won't even talk to us because he doesn't want to hear about God. You're so run to your sports and your pleasure. 
You don't want to hear about God, but the party's going to be over soon, folks. The party's going to be done. You'll be standing before God, and it might be this very night. The soul be, may be required of you. In hell, there's not even a drop of water. There's no liquor, beer, marijuana, drugs, nothing but torment, folks. We're warning you that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, that he might destroy the works of the devil and set you free from the being bound and held captive by the devil at his will. That means you, if you're not born again, the devil's got you under his control, blinded your minds. You don't even have power over your own life. He's got the power over you. But Jesus Christ can break the power of the devil, folks. If only you acknowledge your sin to God. Turn from your wicked ways and believe on the Lord. It's time to seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And uh, while he is near is right now. His judgment hasn't come. He seeks to save that which is lost. And today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to seek the ways of the Lord. Huh, there's another one. There's another one. Waits till he's a hundred feet away to say something. The devil's a coward and his followers are cowards. But the people of God are bold as lions. Yeah, if you want to say something to me, come out and say it to me. Don't wait till you're halfway in the door, you cowards. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God is not willing that any perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's what God's will for you is tonight. And for all men is that they will repent and believe the gospel that is appointed unto men once to die. But after this comes the judgment. What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what shall man give in exchange for his soul? Have you thought about that tonight? A question that Jesus Christ puts forth Tonight, what shall man give in exchange for his soul? There is no exchange. Jesus said, only the blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse us from all sin. Jesus in the Word of God said that he purchased the church with his own blood. And the gates of hell will not prevail against God's church. So tonight I have confidence to preach the Word of God because the Lord Jesus Christ is the head of the church not your Roman Catholic false church not your Jehovah Witness false church not your Mormon false church not your Seventh-day Adventist false church not your Hindu Buddhist and Confucianism but the church of God who shed his own blood and purchased the church with his own blood the gates of hell, Andrew Como, will not prevail against the kingdom of God. That's right. And the only those that are going to enter into the kingdom of God are those that believe the righteousness of Jesus Christ by faith in Christ Jesus and the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the blood that he shed. Water will not save you. You could be dunked in water. It won't save you. There's a purpose for baptism, but you'll never be saved by it. The blood of Jesus Christ and faith in Christ Jesus, isn't it so simple that God made it? Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. That means if you call upon the name of the Lord and you mean that in your heart, then God will transform you into a new creature to follow, serve, and be a servant of the Most High God. The wages of sin is death. 
And when you become a servant of Jesus Christ, you become a servant of righteousness. And you become a vessel of righteousness, which ministers righteousness, ministers the Word of God. The Word of God says that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. The blood of Jesus. Who was Jesus? He, he is the Word of God. He was God manifest in the flesh, justified in the Spirit, preached, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. Received up into glory. That's right. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ, when He... That's what made him the Lord of glory. Because when he went to that cross and the devil tried to have victory over Jesus, he didn't have victory over Jesus because he rose from the dead and he was received up into glory. And because he was... Uh, how are you doing today, sir? And because he was received up into glory, he's able to save you tonight. If you'll call upon Him, if you'll believe on Him, you'll believe His Word. All right, do you? I could tell she believes because I could tell by that smile she has on her face. And glory to God, I think I've seen a few people tonight. All right. I, I've seen a few people tonight, which is kind of surprises me tonight. Because a lot of times we have a lot of devils around, but tonight we got a few... Uh, Kingdom-bound people that are willing to, you know, glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. So repent and believe the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord is not willing that any should perish. He's not willing that any of you perish, but you're going to be accountable to Him someday. You're going to be accountable to the Most High God someday. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Don't reject Him tonight. Call. What, sir? Oh, yeah, see? Tickets, tickets on the brain, tickets on the brain, but no Jesus. No. Yeah, but that, the tickets aren't going to save you. Only Jesus can save you.